sorry. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Force Headquarters Group, Major General Tracy L. Garrett, welcome to the activation ceremony during which the Force Headquarters Group will be activated and Major General Garrett will relinquish command to Brigadier General Liberty. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Commander McGuffin, Chaplain, United States Navy, and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem and honors to Lieutenant General Hummer, Commander, Marine Forces Reserve. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, we come to you this day thanking you for the opportunity to serve this great nation and our fellow Marines and sailors. We thank you for Force Headquarters Group, which will bring new and exciting capabilities to Marine Forces Reserve. We ask that you bless them as they begin this new mission. May they always seek your guidance as they provide service to our nation. We thank you for Major General Garrett's leadership as she stood up this command. As she moves on to her new horizons as Special Assistant to the Commander AFRICOM, bless her and Pat in all that they do. We pray her new assignment provides her personal fulfillment and AFRICOM's continued success. We ask your blessings upon Brigadier General Levadine's wife, Angie, and her two children, Brooke and Brian, and himself, as they move into this new and exciting phase in their lives. May he seek your guidance as he assumes command of Force Headquarters Group. Bless them in this command and all that they do. Be with us this day as we strive to serve you and our nation. Bless these proceedings, for we ask this in your blessed name. Amen. <laughs> Oh. 
made that decision uh, that that headquarters was going to come here, or that task was going to come here. So the requirement for a force headquarters group uh, existed, and we just needed to uh, put it together, figure out how it was going to look, and uh, what was going to happen. So as a part of that, uh, we have two civil affairs groups, and the decisions that are being made will add another two civil affairs groups for a total of four. We have two uh, Anglico uh, Air Naval Gunfire Liaison uh, companies that uh, also need to be supported, plus with the uh, uh, Force Structure Review Group, uh, another one is going to be added. So you have another, another headquarters. As well as the uh, Intel Support Battalion, which is our high demand, low density <coughs> Intel folks, uh, that will be a part of Force Headquarters Group. We'll combine our communication uh, units uh, across our various command elements, and that will come together in, in uh, six communications uh, battalion. And then we have a, a command called McCursick, which takes care of our currently 57,000 individual ready reserves that have joined or left the, left the active Marine Corps and they still have an obligation uh, that has yet to be fulfilled, uh, but they're not drilling reserves. If we need them for a presidential emergency or national emergency, they still have an obligation and we can pull them back. So the responsibility of these, as you pull these organizations together, so you end up with about 3,000 uh, Marines that are either uh, active duty, uh, active reserve, or drilling reservists. Uh, and another 57,000 individual ready reserves. Now with the decrease of the uh, active duty Marine Corps over the next several years, going from 202,000 down to about 182,100, there will be a lot more uh, folks either coming to the reserves or going into the IRR. And conceivably, the estimates are that those numbers will go <coughs> up to about 75,000 Marines that will still have an obligation, and that the force headquarters uh, 
uh, group will have um, responsibility for. So no small task. And then to know that not only the, the drilling reservists and the active duty Marines and the active reserves, we have responsibility, the commander has responsibility for um, across uh, what would be a total of 183 sites, which is a total Marine Forces Reserve, but spread around the country, um, certainly. Uh, to be able to command and control and, and have the commanders have proved that. So you can see the vastness of that, that responsibility. 